We're live. What's going on, folks? It's your boy Dub. What up? What up? It's your boy Ross back in this thing. It's your girl Mally Mel. And this is your guy Noah T, man. Hey. Shout out to Mel being back. Shout out to yeah, yeah. joining us yeah, for the first man. time uh, on Noah, the podcast. Noah's been uh, rocking with the channel since day one, man. Uh, since he oh, found yeah. out about it. So he always supports us, always in our lives, chopping it up, roasting people. Like, it's all love. And I've known him since high school. So he's he good people, man. He's a brother. So. Appreciate the introduction. Friends. <laughs> <laughs> How many of us have been? Friends. Like a first round draft pick, you know. You <laughs> introduced me, and I'm good to yeah, go yeah. now. You gotta walk up, you gotta put your hat on, you gotta put your in the clutch yeah. on. <laughs> and nah. for the first round pick. Do you got a Pootie Tang shirt on? Yes. This is my favorite movie. Boy, let me see. Let me Let's see. Leave. Let the people see. Yes, Pootie Tang. Salate. I didn't know what I was watching when I was, <laughs> and when I watched Pootie Tang, bro. I didn't know what the hell was going on. I just knew that it was comedic gold. I didn't know what I was watching either. Yeah, it was, I was a classic, like, of course. I was like, this seems like it can be really funny if I knew <laughs> they were talking about it. Like, I knew about I the ass whooping part. It's a movie. It's just for you to like not think too much on it and just laugh. I know. It was just movies. random randomness. I wish more people did that. Like, wasn't so hard and critiquing every goddamn they didn't thing. Try so hard. Mm-hmm. Yeah, just like bro, let people mm-hmm. just enjoy it's the art. Hard now because everybody is offended by something. So you can't really mm. like where's the Harlem Nights? Like we need more movies like that. Like Jesus, no, you're not gonna get that. No. Nah. No, you can't. Not they at had all. all a great in there. Dropping <laughs> dropping the F bombs and not the one with rhyme with duck. Mm. Um, yeah, yeah, like it, everybody it, is it, offended now. It's a different time, man. You can't say nothing without somebody. Hey, hey, you can't. Why would say you? That. Why would you? Why would you even go that far? That's too far. Do you think we're really <laughs> starting to lose our freedom of speech? It's because the camera's here. It's probably coming back around. They all here patrolling, you know. I think. I mean, the, with social media, yeah, we have the opportunity to you know, say and put stuff on our platform. But of course, you know, if it's the wrong thing, they'll delete that video or delete that tweet. Mm-hmm. I mean, it's not truly deleted, but you know what I'm saying? It's, <laughs> right. it's not, I guess you could say is we have the freedom of speech, but we, we kind of don't. Because Never did. people want to say certain stuff, but at the same time, if they speak their opinion or their mind, it may come with some negative repercussions. You know what I'm saying? Like you may say, for example, we say something that's not, you know, on on our platform on the in the clutch page, and we say something that's not politically correct for some people, and a sponsor feels some type of way. They may pull out because of the negative press. You feel me? And and it's like, well, we, this is how we feel about something. This is what we feel, and then you know, it it, it turns into what we can say or we have to stay politically correct even though we don't feel that way and then that's when fakeness come into the mix so i guess you could say it's nuts yeah i think that's for people that allows things um or corporations or whatever it is to silence you like um even when we was like six nine was trash for one of his videos we did back in the day (laughs) we got so much hate because we wasn't Like everybody else, we seen video. we seen most some shit that looked video. questionable, and we were like, "Hey, man, that shit, that's weird. Why is he doing that?" Yeah, like he wearing lace fronts now. People are like, "Oh my gosh, you guys are homophobes." Like, he is. Like, oh hey, my man. god, he is. He got Megan the Stallion, like you know, salon person, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he did. Oh, come on. <laughs> so how do y'all think that is? Like, like people, people messing with him. So. It, it really shows, yeah, I think it shows how people are or who they are with their character if they mess with them. I mean, you're entitled to your own opinion, of course, but I mean, he's putting himself out there to have that reaction because mm-hmm. it know, he knows it will get more views and he knows that he'll become more relevant off these things. 
Right. If we mm-hmm. cancel it and mute it, then he won't have the power. True. True. I think uh, a lot of people are just running out of time. That's <laughs> 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 so sad, bro. But I think a lot of people are watching this mainly just as a car wreck, just to see what happens. What happens at the end of this story? I don't think a lot of people too much care about him. You can see it in the comments. He he does have some fans, but a lot of people are just watching it for the entertainment purposes. So, you know what I'm saying? However this story plays out in the end, that's what they're watching it for. Even they fake, because I I didn't see that Mm -hmm. many fans when he went to jail with the allegations. Like, Mm -hmm. I didn't see. They was talking about him, talking about like how he, and witness protection and how he snitching and blah, blah, blah. He just got his cars like removed from his old property so that way people won't mess him up or something. Yeah, I think he also had to move twice, they said mm-hmm. already. It's like you, move twice. You, you trying to troll and they make people feel like you don't care, but you really care because it's like nobody really want to live like that. You know, he's scared. He's yeah, scared. Yeah. <laughs> he terrified. He wear lace fronts. You got that's his fault. That. He could have he could have came home and switched it up. You feel me? Like, just allow yourself for people to forget, at least in the media. But, you know, the media going to spin that shit over and over and over. And you still trolling people talking about some, oh, y'all mad that I came home and I still got a number one record and shit. Like, yeah, niggas going to keep you off the top of that hit list because you, you keep running your mouth. When, um, but now he's trying to go at, like, legends like Snoop Dogg. Yeah, I've seen that. Remaining time and meeting eight minutes. Don't worry about that. What are you talking about? We here. We here for as long as we want to. I thought it was thirty. Hey, but hey, okay. hey, we got hey Doug, hit the. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, so yeah. yeah, yeah. So there's a commercial coming in eight minutes. That's that's mm-hmm. what she meant. You feel oh, me? Okay. Stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. Shout yeah, out to our sponsors. Out shout, there. shout out to our sponsors. You, you know what I'm saying? We'll holler at y'all in a few. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm but uh, yeah. He, he. But what were you about to say? He was going at the legend. Yeah, he was going at the Snoop. Apparently. Uh, he was saying some stuff that it's funny that Buzz is calling me a snitch when Snoop's been, you know, he's, you know, been uh, claimed to be a snitch and all this other stuff. And it's like, all right, man. <sighs> it's like, this, this generation don't have respect, period. I mean, because that's, that's just really what it is. Like, but whose fault is it? Do y'all think it's our fault or the people before us? Um or, you know, who, whose fault do you think it is? Or do y'all think it is for, you know, the people now not having respect? Or, like, OGs and stuff? It's not bad. Um, it's internet. Yeah, I feel like it's, re- it's you can't really play the blame game with this. Because if you think about it, the internet gives the lamest, peonest, minuscule person a loud voice. And they can portray mm-hmm. themselves to be whoever they want to be. Right. The six nine mm-hmm. character, for instance, like we we know people who know know he will never bust a grape. Like he talks about all this stuff in his, but then again, you got like ten security guards. You moved like sixteen times. You was in jail under witness protection. Got out of jail under witness. Pro- Come on now, a real gangster won't be doing all of that. Cause what you scared of? You you not afraid to die? You know you didn't. I didn't lay on my made my peace of God. Oh okay, but you <laughs> protecting your life. Like, you got something to lose, sir. So I live my life. You know, so it, it, like I said, the internet gives these people such a bold voice, and that's not who they are. So I don't right, really think right. it's anyone's fault, because you can't control the internet. Once something gets out, we've seen it time and time again. Things go viral. It's, there is no way to put right. it. Yeah, that's you true. got screen recording. You got it's so many other devices that you can Ooh, Like You got to be recording. careful. Like... <laughs> When you think it's gone, somebody got it in backup. <laughs> mm-hmm. So I wish they created. I wish they created somewhere where when you're trying to screen record somebody, you being childish, it records you back. That'd be hard. <laughs> hey girl, I got him. Wait a wait a minute. Yep, got, you got your dumbass phone. Dominique. Uh huh. You tried to expose the nigga, but I got you. <laughs> huh? But yeah, so I don't know. I don't really think that it's anyone's like fault. I think it's just, it is it is what it is. It's the, the time of the ages, time of intellectual, not even intellectual, but intelligent. 
We're too smart but for our own it, good. We don't have a firm background to stand on. A lot of kids aren't looking up to the people that yeah. truly made that difference, you know? We're looking up to the viral superstars to get rich mm-hmm. quick, you know? Mm-hmm. And it's, yeah. Not to say that I'm not taking away from none of the YouTubers or anything that work hard on their craft, but yeah. it's people that literally get that one hit and now they're just going mm-hmm. off of that. And they don't care how much of the influence they have on children or even adults. They just know mm-hmm. that it's getting them them views and likes and then they're taking it a step further. Like for instance, boom, you remember him? Mm-hmm. Or oh, the crazy nigga with the tattoos. Yeah, with the tattoos. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Boom Gang was getting all those hits, and then it finally dawned upon him that this isn't the life that he wanted. So now, you know, now he, he wearing turtlenecks in the summertime. You know, <laughs> now I still got that damn heart on his face. That I wonder what happened to him. Heart. That's crazy. That's 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 really like. I don't know, but you know, social media is showing. I mean, it has a lot of toxic traits, and um, right. it has a lot of positive traits. But you know, the toxic traits seem to overrule because that's what people want. I mean, even mm-hmm. when I get on Twitter now, like people, <laughs> pe- people are becoming so familiar with just showing themselves, and it's like there's like no more morals, really. You know what I'm saying? And um. You just look at it like, damn, do I need to just get rid of all the apps? You know what I'm saying? Or keep trying to spread the little positivity that you can in the world. But that's why I always just try to do what I can. I mean, it's really up to each individual to pick and choose, Mm -hmm. you know, how they want to pursue um, themselves. But we can't, again, I tweeted something or I retweeted something like, don't sell yourself, don't sell your morals for likes or something like that. You know what I'm saying? And that was just like some of the really shit. And I was just like, uh, more everybody be having these little tweets and retweets, but nobody really want to live it. You know, we all <laughs> we all woke, <laughs> but you know, everybody ain't really living the life that they tweeting or they putting on Instagram. Hmm? They ain't a coma right now. <laughs> ain't nobody woke. <laughs> He's dead to the world, bro. Like for Bad. real. Shade Bad. room, all that. That's why I don't even be following. <laughs> I was like, man, let me get off these damn blogs. Because all they do is push shit that we should be, like, ignoring. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like, I remember when 6 9 came out and when he was, they was talking about, oh, Meek, you mad? I was like, wait, <laughs> you just bigging up Meek for signing with Jay. Oh, and... <laughs> <laughs> Which one is it? Like, two weeks ago, two seconds ago, we was, oh, Meek doing with Jay, man, that nigga on another level, he on some bullshit. Now we talking about some Oh, Meek, you mad? Meek punching the air right now. Putting my just, yeah, but Damn. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> we laughing because it's sad, bro. How niggas just, they'll switch up just to, you know, for the entertainment narrative. You know what I'm saying? So one minute, they supporting you. But if it's at the expense of you, those same people that were supporting you will be laughing at you very quick if something happens. And the same thing like we was just talking about earlier with the 6 9 when he was locked up, the memes was plentiful. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Everybody was making memes on him. The same people that's following him now is the same people making memes. Yeah, that's he got true. out, those same people, I love you, 6 9 You're oh, yeah. so great. Oh, my God, you're the best troll. You're the realest. The same? You're the realest, man. I would have did the same thing, too. If they fucked my baby mama, I would have seen the water. <laughs> like, Got me fucked up. That's on the that's on the gang. That's hey on guys. the gang. Yeah, that's how them niggas be talking. That's on the gang, nigga. Like, really, what gang, nigga? Gang. So zero, zero pictures, three followers following two thousand people ass. <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, uh, we're gonna pause right here. So we're gonna go ahead and let our sponsors go ahead and do their thing. Uh, after commercial break, we're gonna come back with some heavy hitters. We're gonna get real on this thing. You feel me? I feel like it's time to get real. You know what I'm saying? We played with y'all for the first half. But it's about to get real. Play with y'all. All right. Poison it's getting Ivy. real. It's getting All right, serious. Poison Ivy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jesus. Jesus. This is Doug Ross. Doug Ross. In the morning. In the morning. Wake your punk ass up, boo. <laughs> Motherfucker.
back. And we're back from the commercial, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you enjoyed that, um, that blank space for a second. But, uh, yeah, we're back in this thing. Uh, we're also Noah. Malisha is back. You know what I'm saying? You know, everybody What's popping? What's popping, guys? That's why we are, you know, segregated but not negated. Mm. Okay. Ooh, you feel me? So we was talking about uh, the 6 9 situation. We was talking about social media it being toxic and whatnot. I know one of the ones <clears throat> that we kind of touched on but didn't get to, like, really finish was uh, – when a woman feels like a man should make more money or when she's looking for a man with a certain uh, amount or pay. Oh, she rolled her eyes back there. How do you, oh. you must have a, you must have something to say about that. I mean, cause no. some of your peers, you know, feel like um, they want, a man no. with a, <laughs> they want a man with a certain tax bracket. No, what you, come on, come on. What you, no, 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 wait, 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 no, 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 no. Malisha, how do you feel about this? Oh, oh, we would like a woman's What's the question again? Like, <laughs> who's you, who you looking at? <laughs> Why you look over there? <laughs> well, my drink. Ben, no the, shit. No, 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 no. What's the question again? <laughs> and then I'm gonna be ready to. Do you have to date a man in a certain with a certain tax bracket? Like, mm. Mm, not really. I would. I would prefer either. <laughs> <a woman. laughs> oh man, kidding. I like I'm this. I'm just playing. I'm just playing. Bay. Shout out to the team. I'm playing though. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Go ahead. I'm kidding. <laughs> oh, I, 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 sure. No. <laughs> Malisha. Mally Mal, really? Mally. <laughs> look, man. Look, I'm nah, trying to ahead. be serious. Nah, I'm, be but serious. I'm asking because it's it's been different talks on social media. We right. touched last week on should a man pay for everything, but mm -hmm. uh, Ross brought up a point uh, like last week or sometime before about how one of the females was like, "I need a man that's making such and such amount of money, and if you're not making this amount of money, then I, we just yeah, can't talk. Don't DM me and shit like that." So. I'm just trying to see. This what is, is your how take? I feel. Honest, this is my truthful, honest opinion. I, I don't have like the whole like tax thing because honestly, I've dated from like below my level to well beyond my level, and that's just me being for real. Versatility. Okay. I I do notice that there when when. When a man is financially, right. why are all y'all laughing though? I don't like this. Because <laughs> Ross, too. Ross want to laugh, bro. Ross is really Ross. It's no, him. it's not. It's not me. Listen, <laughs> listen, y'all not listening. Listen, right. Linda. I'm sorry. Man. I've noticed when a man is financially stable, he's more secure with himself. That's what okay. I've noticed. Okay. Okay. And it makes the relationship better. From my, mm. when a man, when you make more than a man. They have a sense of insecurity, whether well, they say it or not, but it's it's honestly it's innate. Like because men are supposed to provide and blah, blah, blah. so when they feel like that you're doing that, it mm. kind of I don't want to say um place them, but they feel a certain kind a certain certain way. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Can I pause you right there? So stay right there. Okay, so mm -hmm. with with that though, do you making more money than the man, do you allow him to still take charge of finances? Of course, of course. Okay. However, if well, even well, if a man makes a more, than <laughs> it's always a but. What you mean, however? However, comma pause for effect. I, the type of person how uh, that I am, I I initiate. Like a man, I'm not going I'm not expecting a man to be like, I'm gonna pay all for the bills and whenever we go out, blah 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 blah. No, like I treat. I pay for a lot of stuff. We go somewhere, I'll pay for myself. Like that's just the kind of person how I am. You know what I mean? I get I like the applause. I like that. But yeah, so I mean I, that's just how I am. And I feel like there's a time and place for everything. Like, you know, if you're with a person, you should not look at them as like a dollar sign. Right. Like that's not Gosh. you know, oh, he makes his money so he can buy this. Yes, he can mm -hmm. do that, but you also yeah. make money, so why can't you you know what right. I mean? So that's that's just basically where I'm coming from with it, and it makes the relationship easier. It makes it it makes it better because when a man knows that a woman can hold her own, like that's an attraction. Mm. 
you know, Ross, like, calm down. Ross is really <laughs> hot. Ross. Facts, man. Ross has a standing ovation. Not really. That's Ross. You over there having a standing ovation. Got his Jimmy out. <laughs> wow. Woo. <laughs> Woo, buddy. <laughs> excited, excited. But nah, that's that's real though. Um, cause you know, it's just a lot of talks, you know, about who should be paying what. I always feel like it's it's between you and that person. You know what I'm saying? Like it should just be a team thing. Whatever you could pay, whatever you got, cool, whatever I got cool. Like it shouldn't be, mm-hmm. oh, uh-uh, I need you to be making at least, <laughs> you know, because it's like what are you bringing to the table? You know what I'm saying? As far as the exactly. relationship. If the first thing you talk about is what I make, you're not for me. <clears throat> Facts. You for the MLK hey, streets. That's just what it is. That's what it was. Some, some, some people, that's what they attracted to. They attracted yeah. to like financial stability more than anything. It's like, dang, like, does this person make you happy? Oh, yeah, we, we laugh. We got good chemistry, but... um. You work at 7-Eleven. Hey, you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> We're doing my steed. Buddy, buddy. I'm a steed. I mean, but some people be, um, like, I don't think some women realize, and it's not just against women, but since we still on it, like, some dudes really be working on their million dollar dream. So, mm-hmm. if you ride or die, <clears throat> or if you really down for the person, maybe you'll help assist and make him become who he's trying to be. <laughs> I mean, Obama wasn't president I, but, but this, this is what i'm gonna I, i'm also i have something to say about they ride or die ish okay so <laughs> you know you know i ain't mean it in the ghetto way i mean I, no, like, no no i know that but what i'm <laughs> saying is there are some women who stay down for a man uh for a man and they never get to that place and it's been years right so now this woman has it in her mind like oh i'm not doing that again if i'm gonna get in a relationship he needs to have a b and c so now that's it's true yeah there's built there so that's yeah. what pe- a lot of people have to understand that too that woman who's saying that may- very well may have been in a relationship where a man promised her thing and it didn't come to pass and that causes trauma distrust and a whole lot of other issues within that mm-hmm. within that that realm so you know to eat like to each his own i feel like if a woman is saying that there is something that had chiefs or something that she's been through she's that bad she don't realize that that's not what she wants that's not what she wants to do that's what they, i thought that's what dating was for too though like just to <laughs> people they i mean you know what i'm saying for the single people it, do people still go off of vibes because when you're talking to somebody you get a sense of how they are just a little bit like you going on a date with a man and he ain't opening no doors <laughs> uh, female just staying in her phone you like damn she ain't even showing me eye contact when we talk you know what I'm saying like little that's, things like that the norm now though it's the norm is it yeah so you, like so you don't open doors Ross oh no I open doors hell no nah, I don't open not, doors yeah you got it nah, that's wow. super, yeah. so you're not opening doors buddy he walk, he walk in first and the door slam in the girl's face he be like oh my bad I thought you nah I'm a good like here. the yeah. south has way more of a traditional gentleman standpoint than a lot of other places. I would say that too. I could take that. You can't, you don't really see as much people doing that in different parts. Maybe, maybe from my experience, this is my opinion going in. No, yeah, people, a lot of people don't say it though. So like you see that different type of mentality as far as like you putting yourself as the front end of the household but mm-hmm. you still contribute as far as bringing in the ideas of the woman ideas of financially supporting the woman and the woman supporting mm-hmm. you. you know and that helps build that chemistry and that relationship together thanks because okay. you can't you can't build nothing without that strong woman beside you True. Co- what was Very your name? True. Noah. Very true. You, you said Koa? Noah. Said Noah. She said Koa. You don't read. Kanawa. Kanawa. K-N-O-W-A. Hey, but now that's, that's facts. And see, that's that's that what I was true. saying at first. Like, Barack mm-hmm. wasn't who he was as president before he met Michelle. Like, you, you need that mm-hmm. one solid one. You know what I'm saying? That's going to push you, motivate you you know, keep you, keep your head on track. But, you know, I think most people try to 
get with the stigma of now nah, he needs to be established and they kind of don't want to they don't want to go through all that they want to get there <clears throat> when it's already you know present when you already made it when you already successful and i think that's kind of what's wrong with some people that's always complaining about finding somebody it's like well maybe you gotta maybe he's right there maybe you just want him to be a finished product instead of working with him to finish the product I mean, like, but once again, some women are tired of that. Like, some women don't, some women feel like that they don't have, or that they've been through so much that they shouldn't have to, or I spent three years building up this other man, and I, am I going to spend another two years doing that? Sometimes it's the uncertainty of a situation that makes them weary, which I get. Uh, believe you me, I definitely get. But I, and I also feel like the older that you get, women are more mature when it comes to looking for certain things. Like we look for stability, whether it be emotional. Well, a lot of us do. I can't say all. But a lot of us look for you know, stability <laughs> <laughs> as far as finance. finance. Um, how are you with kids? Because they want to be a mother. Like it's just those things that we look at before you guys even open the door on those type of situations. And that's really a scientifically and psychologically proven. It's not a bad thing. It's just don't try to cut us and then put a band aid on it. It's not a. It's not bad that you guys are slower. It's not. Than us. It's not bad, but it's nature. That's what it is. You know, you are supposed to be the go getters, and we're the nurturers. We're the okay. We're gonna. This is how we're gonna make. Make blah, 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 women, work. women is going against that grain though, like hard. Yeah, they don't want that to be the common or the natural way of things. Like we say all the time, there is a double standard, and people <laughs> hate that. And it's like <laughs> it is though. You know what I'm saying? Like, okay, not to be funny. <clears throat> mm-hmm. So we talked about last week. Um. A teacher, like having a crush on a teacher that's older than you. And mm-hmm. me and Ross was like, well, hey, if one of my teachers would have let me that I had a crush on would have let me, you know what I'm saying? No. See? <laughs> so we're but gonna, the thing is, gonna, I had this a is crush. Fresh. Huh? I had a crush on, like, you already know, I had a crush on Mr. Richardson. He was fine and still is fine. Okay, but there's a physical aspect. We're not thinking about the mental <clears throat> aspect. Wait a minute, I wouldn't either. <laughs> exactly. So it's, think. It's okay, so if he would have let you, he was my history teacher. I absolutely hated him as a history teacher, but he was fine to look at. So if, but Mr. I would never Richardson, be like, oh, I'm wondering what he. Man. No. <laughs> so that's what. That's what Noah's saying. Like, y'all on some just looking. We trying to, like, figure out what the (laughs) problem is about. (laughs) We trying to get the real equation. Oh, my God. But that's because it is kind of like a double standard. Like, it's just like, that's how we... That's how we think, almost, at that time. Like, I mean, you in high school, things is popping off now. Your mind is just all over the place. People have grown, growing, grownest. We're like a and dog with the pink thing out. Yeah, man, it's just like, oh, where, where we go, where we go? So if a teacher, like, here you go. If a teacher offers it, I don't know none of the homies that I know that would be like, nah, I can't do this, that. This ain't right. This wouldn't my, be right. You're my English my teacher. <laughs> my morals. My morals. Miss Jones giving it to me in third period? I'm in there. <laughs> See, but to to Man, most women, it's like that's like so gross. We don't look at men like that. I would have never thought to do. No, I wouldn't like have. That. I, no, I wouldn't have. I didn't. I didn't want to sign me up. You would fine. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't passing no. anyway. I gotta do something to get this grade up, right? I ain't passing this up. Oh, uh, <laughs> I need you to stay after the class today for some extra credit. And uh, <laughs> ah, this, you know, what you're talking about is like. Pedophilia. I don't even go there, but but it's like almost like a like ah. I don't even think women get bashed as hard as men do when that happens, though. You see what I'm saying? That's all. That's how the double does. standard. You know how many how many women it, it had, had, had sex with, with kids in school? And it's got but no, it's true. News. Men do. Mm-hmm. It's really more common for women to get caught yes. up. Yes, yeah, it really is because. 
you you looking at from like <laughs> kindergarten, third grade, high school, yeah, you true. haven't heard as many reports as like the younger levels, except mm -hmm. for high school. Yeah. And that's but like women, you getting women with kick accounts that are like sending news <laughs> to third graders. <laughs> like that's, that's crazy. Sick. That's sick. Like that is. Oh, it's sick. But you was just talking about. I said high, high school. school. Let's be clear. School. I said high you school. You still a kid. You still a child. Nevertheless. Oh, <laughs> oh, see, and that's what them teachers think. There were some niggas in high school with tattoos and shit. Like, hey, what you mean? But that still does not take away the fact that niggas you are with fifteen. Kids. Yeah, that's nineteen. Hey. hey. <laughs> Y'all are the issue. Y'all are the issue. Y'all are the issue. One oh, one oh. Uno, uh, uno. We're the issues. Why well, gotta be all this? I just got in here. <laughs> and, and you and look. See, I told you. That's a double right standard. We warned you. We told you. But this is the double standard because this is how most guys think. I mean, when you're in high school, you're ready to go. And I don't know none of the homies that But that still doesn't make it right. You, If a grown woman is. <laughs> If you seem like you ready, you're not grown. <laughs> <laughs> you come into the classroom. I don't lie. That, the that's class. kind of the culture that has been brought into. Facts, no facts. Uh, yeah, especially like think about this that Boosie situation. Mm -hmm. We talked about it last week. You know, so that's been brought into it's like you better go after that older woman. That older woman wants you. But see, course, I wouldn't do that with my son though, like. That's, oh, they old son, that's terrible. That's that's like hella out of line. Like, and you should definitely have them people in your life. You should definitely have them people in your life, especially introducing your son to something like that, because that's going to introduce him into more things to where he's not ready for it as a child. Mm -hmm. So I got a question. <clears throat> I don't know how y'all feel about this. If I get this real, but. I just want to know y'all opinion, okay? Right. So, Dave Chappelle, everybody's seen his last stand-up. How do y'all feel about the comment he made that if a woman decides to keep a child, a man can decide not to take care, of it, take care of it if he doesn't want to? If they both didn't agree to abort the child? Nah, I feel like you need to be in that child's life. I'm going to say... I'm going to say, and I don't, I, people might not agree with me on that. I oh, agree with that. Because you say you what? I don't agree with that because that would be, okay. I, I, I agree with Dave Chappelle because. Wait, you confuse me. No, no, I agree with what <laughs> Dave Chappelle said. Of course. Okay. So look, this is why I agree because a woman for now has a choice to say, I don't want to keep this baby. What if the guy does? He doesn't have the legal right to be like, I can't abort my baby. You can't do this. Like, I want to be a father. Like, if I'm the one that right. like, I want to be a father, mm. that woman can still walk into that clinic and have it done, right? Sure. And the man, you know, can't do anything about it. Now, <laughs> flipping the script, the woman wants to keep the baby. They both are irresponsible, but the, the woman wants to keep the baby. The father's like, uh, no, like, I don't want to, to keep the child. I feel like, I mean, morally and ethically, would it be, would it be wrong? But at the same time, it's like, give him that same choice like you had. You know what I mean? So that, that rules out the double standard. Now, in our society, is it wrong? Yes, because that child is now fatherless and right, right, right. So, so, so that's where that comes into play at. But if you're gonna do it, <laughs> you know. I get what you're saying, I but see at the same saying. time, to know your origin has a lot of like insight on yourself. Well, no, so that's you, why I said morally and ethically, it yeah. it's kind of like uh, okay. But for a woman to completely cut off that guy to not well, for a guy to say no, nah, I ain't dealing with none of that. But that he's, is, it, it, I feel like it's kind of it's kind of messed up because what if that man is not ready to be a father? Like, what if he is not, you know, and I know you put your thing in there. <laughs> All right, there you go. You should have put your thing in there. If you knew that you wasn't putting the proper preparation to take what care of What if he of was? What if he was? What if it was one I'm of the kind of bus. Like, it just happened. 
Like <laughs> that's the point. Like he took he took look. the precautions. To that's the point of more look. understanding the the consequence behind something. Like we all know there's consequences behind what you do, regardless of how good it is, how bad it is. There's always that red line between that instance. Mm-hmm. So yeah, right. you need to at least. I mean, I get. So, I get so, do, you, so do you agree? Do you agree with Dave Chappelle? Or you don't agree with what he said. It's if, if I'm <laughs> <have> to, yeah. <laughs> don't agree with that because I need to know my seed to know how my line is going out in the world. This is just from my perspective because. Right. You have that's to, the that's the yeah, you have that's to think the, about the moral that. ethical part. So I get yeah. it. I get it. You I'm have just saying, I'm that's not what you it's think. wrong. I'm just saying, like yeah, I because you're still out there acting wild and they be like, Oh, that's that's Noah's boy. You no, know, ain't no <laughs> son of mine. You know, boys, ain't no son of mine. <laughs> no, sir. That ain't my kid. I ain't claim him. Billy Jean in that thing. Yeah. You know, he got his mama last name. He got the same hairline. That's uh, him. Uh, what, do you, what do you think, Ross? Um, I would agree with that uh, Noah sentiment when it comes to it's one of those type of things. I, I get where Malisha's coming from, and that eliminates that double standard because it's the, obviously I would agree with uh, what Malisha had said. Stop but, playing uh, with me. Um, <laughs> Stop. <laughs> But nah, uh, I'm a, I'm gonna have to go with you know if you if you make that decision with somebody, uh, you kind of gotta you should. It's not always the case, but you you should you know at least try to you know what I'm saying break that gap, break that trend, especially in, in our community, the black community, that trend yeah. of not okay. knowing. You know, not being in your child's life, even if you're not ready, because there's a lot of people that aren't ready for children when they have them. But you know, it's one of those things where it's like, all right, we brought, <laughs> <a child. laughs> we brought a child into this world, and you know, what I'm saying we gotta, you know, kind of figure out how to do this. You feel me? And it's it's unfair to the child growing up, and they don't have that father figure. And I think we definitely need right. that for in our community more than anybody else. We definitely need that more, even if they they not at the household and needs to be that father figure at some point, so they know, you know, what I'm saying that their dad is there and you know their dad cares. You feel me? Because we see how it can turn out when you let the streets raise your son. You know what I'm saying? Because yeah. the mother can only do so much. You feel me? And me as men, as boys, we look up to somebody that had that type of authority, whether it's in the house or whether it's outside the house. That's just how it is. And we don't have that male figure to let us know what's up, what's right, what's wrong, how to maneuver situations. And it's only the mother. The mother can only do so much, you know? So I do think if you're willing to go in that situation with somebody, you kind of got to be ready to, at any point, to deal with what may come with that. So. Right. That's facts. I mean, that's why you got to really be careful. Papa Ross. Yeah. He, he Yo, came with Ross. I told y'all watch every episode. Papa. Papa. <laughs> no, um, that's, but that's why you got to be careful, too, of who you're, you know. And, wow. <laughs> Papa. Papa. That nigga got thirsty on that one. <laughs> Yeah, uh, I can't. I can't do that. I can't talk about my. Life. Why are you bringing? Why are you bringing that up, Noah? I forgot all about that. Dude, I, I told you, I, I literally watched everything that y'all have done so far. Hey, appreciate that, bro. Aww. That's, that's real. You know, because I mean, that's real because you know, mm, people. You know, people that that support you or say they support you. You know what I'm saying? And it's not like you gotta say you support, but. You know who's supporting who don't. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And I remember when we first started the YouTube channel and the only subscribers was us. <laughs> and we was just like, hey, <laughs> hey y'all, go subscribe. Come on, do it. And you know, it just I get people don't see your vision. And it's always like that. That's why I'm I'm personally never mad at somebody that don't see my vision. I just get agitated when you're full on once it blooms. 
You know what I'm saying? That's like, fair. It's like, don't be so, so into it <laughs> when it's uh, uh, reached a certain peak. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like, show me some type of, you know, show me some type of love along the way. You know, show me that you see what hey, we're doing. Show me that you- speaking of, you know, the vision, let's mm-hmm. talk about your, you know, the merch. You know, you, you I mean, you know, this, you know, going merch. on. What we got going mm-hmm. on with the merch? I'm keeping that on quiet, you know what I'm saying? But, uh, oh, is it on quiet? It is on quiet, you know. What so I'm uh, I guess it'll be very much anticipated. Delicious. Oh, it will. Yeah. Merch is um, trying to make it to where I'm not doing so much of hard work. And that way it can be something that just stay out uh, permanently. So um, that's why I'm trying to make sure I'm real careful. And I'm I'm always careful for what I, with what I do. Like, I don't just like throwing shit out there and then figuring it out. You know, I like to make sure I got some, you know, things yeah. in line and set up. So that way, you know, it can, it can keep rocking. Um, the past few times we did Visions of a Dream, they sold out every time. So <laughs> shout out to that. Um, and I like I can go ahead and get on that. I got you. I got you. Oh yeah, we got you. We got bring it all the way to you know where I'm at. I ain't gonna no, see, I get my oh, for, sure. <laughs> for sure. See, that's why you need homies to support you. You know what I'm saying? Because I think I seen you put something today. People always say something about how they don't need friends or something like that. And yes. you're just like, just say you don't know how to be one. And I was exactly. like, bro, that shit real because. Real. People do claim I don't need nobody. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm solo dolo. Yeah, I'm it's busy. like I'll be like, dang, you gonna be one miserable motherfucker when you and when you grow up. Life not meant to be, you know, still a child. Lived. Yeah, not for real facts. Like life not meant to be lived. Like I mean, even when Noah Ross come on here and it's like the fact that they got stories, it's it's something that you can think about years to come. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? Like just something to look back on. And it's like you create yeah. memories with people. You know what I'm saying? And that's as love you share with other humans and it's like it's something that's supposed to, I feel like that's why we here mainly is we to, are not to meant love. to be alone like we're not meant yeah. to be alone whether it be in At all. You know, relationships friendships like intimate ones like it doesn't matter like we are not created just to be alone yeah. like so miserable like you gotta be <laughs> you have to so right. want to be by yourself all the time like I get this whole care movement Oh, you know, get away from everything. But at the same time, that's not that shouldn't be a a, a everyday thing. Like it's mm-hmm. you know, you should you should want to interact with people. You know, right. and if you don't like the people that you're interacting with, change your circumstance. Change your circumstance. <laughs> you have the power to do that. Like you don't Ooh. have to stuff with the people that you don't like, quote unquote. Facts. Facts. That's Facts. so Major. true. Major. People think that they owe loyalty to people that they've been knowing for years, whether they be toxic or whatever the case. My thing is, let that go. Let it go. Build you some new relationships. Find you some new people. There is way too many public forums out here for you to be on or for you to meet people on or for you to go out and just spark up a con- it, it costs nothing. You know? Nah, thanks. Like, you, you come in uh, contact with people that just share the same interests with you. Like, exactly. um, people on our YouTube channel, it's crazy because so many people that have a, a similar interest off of something we just even react to simply become friends. And mm-hmm. it's something dope to me. Like, I see people that met through our channel and they like homies. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Just because they might like wrestling or they like watching the same funny thing or they, you know, have the same taste in music. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And stuff like that. And it's it's dope to see. And that's why I always want to spread like positivity because it's enough negativity in the world and enough people spreading hate Too and much. stuff like that. That's why I'm always even when we play with each other, even when we rank and chop, it's like I let people know, like, bro, it's all love. At the end of the day, if you can't right. rank on your brother, if you can't rank on your sister, you know what I'm saying, then what kind of relationship? You know, so I really want to build that bond where it's like y'all joke on us 20, 99 percent of the time. Let us get at your ass when we get to see you. You know, one good time. Yeah, like one good time. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, it's but it's it's always love. We never show nobody hate. And at the end of the day, we always like look, follow this person, go hit them up, and such and such from there. Go promote Mm -hmm. him. Go go listen to his music or whatever it is. So, yeah, we always trying to we always trying to build the right way. You feel me? Mm-hmm. That's what this is about. You got to build it up. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Tempta- Temptations of Five Heartbeats. Go. Five Heartbeats. Five oh, heartbeats. Temptations. Oh, I don't five know. Heartbeats. Five Heartbeats. Ross? I'm going to say Temptations. I don't know. They, they got know. That is a hard-ass one. That's a tough one. People, people, 
that five heartbeats ain't real, but actually they're the Dales. There's a group called the Dales, which yeah. is real. So yeah. they are real. They're real. The five heartbeats was just they have to they couldn't take the exact name of a group. Yeah, of course not. Mm-hmm. That would have been but, well yeah. only because they didn't give them permission to. So. Right. Exactly. Uh, Robert Thompson did his thing. Um, man, I, I don't know. Like, uh, I've got nothing. Shout out, shout out to Robert Townsend. Nobody ain't giving that man flowers for his. Community. Don't. They don't give him his flowers. Parenthood, Meteor Man. Meteor Come on. Man. No, yeah. that was trash. <laughs> Come on, that was like the first black type Meteor superhero. Man was a childhood man. classic, man. <laughs> it wasn't trash was, back then. It was trash. <laughs> Everything was trash back in the day. Everything was trash back then. Yeah, Think but probably the more, one of the most iconic thing in the world was Space Jam. You watch it now, see how trash it is. Hold up, hold up. I mean, wait, 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 wait. wait. Space Jam, Space Jam, my trash though. Space Jam, I, I still love that. That's movie. That's my number one movie. That and Lion King. You, Think, of, think about it though. Watch. We're not talking about the graphics because, of course, the graphics gonna be trash. It's like thirty years ago. Watch how bad Michael Jordan acting is. The graphics this are pretty good, though. Ball. It's not a lot. He's stupid. He did hit that hell. I got to get my North Carolina short. His short. arm stretch. Yeah, he did. 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 That acting was cringy. I mean, <laughs> when you look at it now, yeah, it was. Uh, and this is coming from a guy that likes Pooty Tang. So trust <laughs> I understand. Pooty, yeah, Pooty Tang. If you watch it now, you'll be like, what the? <laughs> I'm laughing from my childhood. I'm laughing yeah, from my nostalgia. Childhood. Yeah, the nostalgia. That nigga went in the booth and said, I was like, yeah, okay. <laughs> Pooty too good. Let's, let's Pooty this- too good. Let's cut this off, Mom. I don't know where we're watching. <laughs> let's let's get rid of this one. I don't I don't know what we're watching here. Um, have y'all finished watching the uh, MJ documentary? I'm a couple of episodes. Mm-hmm. Away. I have not, and I'm no. What? I, no, I'm on the no, I'm on the third Sunday. So oh, no, you what good. do you want to say about that? Is Bob from accounting from Martin? Bob from accounting, the white Martin. Yes. If y'all seen the documentary, that dude looks just like Bob from Martin. Oh, Martin's. yeah. <laughs> hey, Martin. Hey, man. Quick. <laughs> <laughs> this is a good this, doc, though. I fuck with it. I nah, I, I like how they, you know, was diving into it. It's crazy because you wouldn't even think they had all that damn footage. Like, yeah, they was I, following I, the hell out of them, man. And I like the way they they set it up where they'll start from in the 80s and then they'll go back to the last dance, the last season in 98. Then they'll go back and forth and they'll switch yeah. between Dennis Rodman, all the other players. Yeah, give Scott other people Pippen. some spotlight. Yeah, yeah. That shit, that's what made it dope. It wasn't just all Jordan. They showed the important pieces that helped him get those championships as well. So I, I like that they showed. Yeah, I didn't even know. Uh, well, you haven't got to the last episode. I'm gonna yeah, chill out no, on that. But there's 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 mm-hmm. certain people background stories I didn't know, and it was kind of heartfelt. And I was like, damn, bro, I didn't. I ain't even know that. Like, but it's 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 crazy how they just they kind of bring all these people from different lifestyles and different mm-hmm. walks of life, and they kind of bring them together in this one overall story. So. No, nah, that's facts. I mean, everybody got a story, bro, just in general. You know what I'm saying? That's mm-hmm. why I, I try not to judge people. You know what I'm saying? Or I'm trying to make sure I'm not judging people. I made that a new mm-hmm. thing with me about how I try to switch up, how I do things. It's like, don't judge somebody because you never know what somebody's going through, what they've been through, why they are the way they are. So, Same way with Dennis Rodman. He was the epitome of what you just talking about. Nah, for, and then I remember watching his interview on The Breakfast Club. This was way before... Mm-hmm. The talks of the documentary, and I remember they was really he was really talking about some real stuff, like mm-hmm. some of the racism that he had to deal with, uh, mm-hmm. just as a kid and stuff like that, and how different things happen, and it just made him want to, you know, what I'm saying he just wanted to be him, yeah, you know what I'm saying, and I I felt like how he did himself in the NBA was just like an outcry, just like 
let me be me. Like, let me be free and let me just do mm-hmm. what I want to do. And that's mm-hmm. and that's the thing uh, about him. Like when it came to him playing on the court, he mm-hmm. was one hundred percent in. Oh yeah. But he but he had to once he got out the court setting, he had to be free. He had to be doing his own thing. The fact that this nigga was literally leave um, a finals match to go wrestle, bro. Like that shit's insane. With the NWO, <laughs> with the NWO. That's so matter of fact, not that, even WWE. E, WCW. WCW. <laughs> this nigga left the that, NBA finals game after it was over to wrestle with these niggas. This a this a this a we talking about a true legend. Like I don't even think yeah, they put bro. enough trailblazer. Trailblazer. They don't put yeah. enough respect, but you know what is dope that documentaries like these happen so that way it can give people mm-hmm. the roses that they deserve. Cause nah, Dennis Robin, he deserves his roses, bro. Else. He he's the only bro. This nigga, what he's uh, he was it Madonna? Madonna yeah. flew that nigga in. Madonna smashed um, him. He was with Carmen Electra, yeah, and like he he had right. a, a list of just like, he was living. That is the embodiment embodiment of living your best life. That was him. He didn't care. Speaking of he's last like, dance. What is your favorite Jordan retro? Ooh. Cool Grey Nines. Ooh, we talking that good stuff. All right. Favorite. Cool, cool Grey Nines, man. Because favorite Jordan retro. Hey, hey, I'm talking. Oh, we got less than a minute left. So, now, nah, um, Cool Grey Nines. <clears throat> those were my first pair of Jordans ever. Um, back when I didn't even, couldn't even afford to get none. My sister surprised me with the, uh, the retro, the, the Cool Grey Nines with the headband and the, the shirt. And the 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 sweat, the windbreaker pants. So those shoes have always been iconic to me, just because of that moment. For me, my favorite. Ah, bro, it's so tough. Oh, I'm gonna have to go with the grape fives, bro. Grape fives. That's a, that's a good selection, though. I I I've seen that on. I I'll never forget. Fresh I Prince. seen. I believe. Yep, Fresh yeah. Prince. That was one of my first times, like, really just seeing that. And I was like, I need those. Mama, no. All right, cool. <laughs> All right, what I was say, Mama. <laughs> no. She just she said she knew it was. Because back then, I think it was like, I know for kids, they were probably, they were like maybe, I don't know how much they were for kids. But I know for adults, they were like 120 And that was a lot back then. That was a lot. $120. You yeah, yeah, bro. Hundred twenty dollars back then, bro. When so, rent is five hundred. <laughs> yeah. Oh, five hundred. You know rent what to do with cheap. that boy? Man, rent was super cheap back then. Gas was like less than a dollar. Like, bro, you can do a lot Sick. with that shit. This is Doug Ross. Doug Ross in the morning. In the morning, wake your punk ass up, boo, <laughs> motherfucker. Still ain't got it bumping. Hey. And we're back. Uh, now we was talking about the retro. The uh, Noah asked, "What was your favorite retro Jays, Jordan?" Let's go. I don't. I've never owned a pair of Jays. What? I never knew that about you. I learned something. Wow. I did. Wow. Wow. <laughs> for real? She owned you just some, never cared for them. She or? owned some bays. When I was. Melissa. Thirty-two. No, because when I was growing up, like mm-hmm. from like we couldn't afford J's, and then mm-hmm. you know when I got older and I started getting money, you know, came into my career, I can afford them. I just don't didn't care for them. Mm. Don't really care for them. Which I'm ones? A converse do you think type of girl. Pretty or nice. Which ones do you think that? I don't know because I don't know what they're called. Mm. Oh my! What they gosh. look like? Oh my goodness! What they look like? I'm sorry. I'm not a shoe head. Like I'm trying to, I'm trying to help you out. What they look like? Give me. Yeah, I don't yeah, know. Yeah, I, yeah. I guess. I guess I like any high top because my favorite shoe is Converse. Um, the high top Converse. I do know Chuck that. Taylor. Yeah. So that is. What was Chuck me. Taylor's made? I want to know that because, like, 1962. 1962. Mm-hmm. Okay, black folks could get them. You know. 
I mean, they came white in two colors. They came in black and white. Black, yeah. Yeah. They only came in like the black and white and the white ones, right? Yeah. Like some like the cream looking ones. Yeah, it was like the dingy cream. Yeah. <laughs> Give me that towel. Nah, um, uh, my dad has some chucks. I remember him telling me about uh his first pair of chucks that he got. And it's crazy because he said um they were basketball shoes at one point in time. Mm-hmm. That excuse me. Like those nah, yeah, and they so uncomfortable. So yeah, and uh Chucks originally um they had met up with uh with Jordan early in his career and uh they told him basically he wasn't gonna be like the forefront of the brand because they already had Bird, uh Magic, they already had Legend, so they he wasn't gonna be the forefront. And that's when Nike um, came into That's when the it was mission. Converse. <laughs> no, that's when Adidas came about because the Adidas was going to offer Jordan that money. Adidas no, was Adidas tripping, was, though. Adidas, Adidas was going to offer some money, but Nike, since they were new, I think Adidas they said, were wasn't it Adidas mix. that said that? That um, he wasn't going to be the face of it? No, it was, no, it was Converse. Converse. It was Converse? It was Converse, yeah. What, what did Adidas do, Chris? It was Adidas that came. With their but they, they messed up because that's who he originally wanted to sign with was yeah. Adidas. Yeah, he, he wanted to, to sign be... with Adidas, but but his mom had convinced him, and that's why moms know best. His mom had convinced him to sign, just check out Nike, go to Nike, go to their meeting, because he wasn't trying to fuck with Nike at all. He wasn't. So it's it's funny how that all came apart. Came yeah, I remember apart hearing about that story a long time ago, and I was like, man, I know Adidas punching I know, they in. sour. <laughs> People don't give the main designer flowers. Tinker Hatfield was the designer that made a lot of those Jordans. Mm-hmm. And that dude he there, needs his roses. Yeah, he, made, he needs his this roses. Dude made a lot of shoes like mm-hmm. the Air Max One, the Nike mm-hmm. Air Max, the Hirachi, like all of those things. Tinker Hatfield had a hand in. Mm-hmm. No, nah, that's lit. And it's something about the Jordan line of shoes. It's like, I don't know what it is, bro, but it's like just the design of them. It's just like no shoe really. Even though I don't really buy Jordans at all now. Mm-hmm. Either. I'm one of those. And at least like I I can buy it, but it's like I'll be so <laughs> – <laughs> I saw some that I really, really like. I don't know. I might, I might scoop me some. Uh, my wife didn't convince me to go ahead and probably get some, but if anything, I'm gonna get some ones. Um, because you can't go. That's what they are. Ones. Okay, so they're the high top. They're the high top ones. They're royal blue because my favorite color is blue and black and white. I think they just came out or something. Yeah, or, they did. I know what you're out again. Yep. I'm an Air Jordan Six man. Okay. Mm. See, I don't even know. The, I don't know the numbers. Mm. I don't know none of that. I just know. I you got just, a lot going on. <laughs> it's that silhouette can mm-hmm. work with pretty much anything. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And, and they got dope true. colorways too. I like yeah. 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 And, and suede. Oh my god. Oh, the buttery. Oh my goodness. Look at you over here. Y'all yeah, they are. They are about to have a gas oh. shoe gas but now, nah, so oh facts. I was looking online of some shoes. I was like, you know, let me see, let me see. By my comments, Jordan. Look at, let me look. So, come in mind, I thought about getting the twelves, the flu games. So I'm going on there. And I'm like, all right, let me see. Probably gonna be like one, one eighty, nigga. Hang I go up. online. Hang that up. <laughs> the, 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 for a nine, I think you it was like. At that. You it wasn't laugh. even my shoe size, and that mug was like four eighty. I was like, yeah. come yeah. again, coach. See, that's why I can't do it because Chucks, you can, I can custom make my Chucks mess. I just got two customs that I made and they was only like a hundred dollars and they like, so. (laughs) But see, that's the thing. Like I I, I used to have some flu games and it's like. I don't even know what that is. The, the, they're black and red. They're really, yeah, they the food poisoning 12. Yeah, the food poisoning 12. (laughs) The my stomach hurt twelves. Yeah, the my I shouldn't have ate that twelve. They had pizza. That was my Bro, fault. Twelve. Somebody, somebody made a meme. I don't know if you get the reference, Malisha, but basically the flu yeah, bag is Jordan yeah. was like sick and whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They said the nigga was, was really drunk, what, but okay. Well, <laughs> it, it was really. 
That was one hell of a <laughs> come on. Let's we're not putting flowers on the game though. Like whatever okay. the nigga had, like, he balled. Yeah, basically. He yeah, balled. he was drunk though. He had a mean hangover. Tell me some poison. Okay. Okay, but check he this said, out. You get a hangover the night before, and then you don't go to work the next day. This nigga still went to work and performed. Okay, that's him. Good job for him, but I wouldn't do it in the beginning. So he said it, but no correlation to me. I'm sorry, Ross. Ross he ordered some food. He ordered some food that night. It was late that night after the game. He ordered some food. There was only one place open, a pizza place. And he said, five niggas went up to deliver one pizza. Five niggas went up to deliver one pizza. He was the only one that ate the pizza. Oh, I know what you're talking about. Pizza. And they had the, the uh, African yeah, dude. The, yeah, they had the African meme where the African dude at a funeral was just up there. He said, pizza, bro. He ate the pizza. He got sick and that's balled the out. And that's then the, the, uh, the brotherhood. <laughs> the nation, the nation came. And that's in. why. But the, of course, the media spun it as he he had flu like symptoms, so they went with that for the you know promotion of the shoe, the flu game. Basically, anything like when you when it comes to Jordans and stuff, they resell at a high price because niggas mm-hmm. really care about that shit. The sneaker community is very lucrative if you, if you got the money. So them flu games originally retail now. If you got the money. You, yeah, if you got the money. But the flu games originally retail, you know what I'm saying? Right now, most uh, retro J's like 200 for tax. You know, it's plus taxes, like a little bit more than that. But as soon as you buy that, boys sell that on StockX or other places on eBay, they automatically inflate it at, at least an extra 200. So like what they do with retro- Yeezys. Mm-hmm. If you the want some retro, very smart because he puts his brand out in different, like sports, different mm-hmm. like social media accounts, rappers, all that stuff. Mm-hmm. So it's not just athletics that he's putting himself into. He has like a race car, driving Jordans and stuff. You know, you got all these Jordan baseball athletes. And like oh, that's yeah, yeah, yeah. super super dope. So like for him to put that on, that's impressive. But don't that's why get... so many different like designs too. Like Michael Jordan do be doing that. The other stuff. <laughs> Someone I, said doing. I gonna a say that, but Someone I gonna say doing, a, doing the that garden tool stuff. <laughs> Someone said in the documentary that nigga eyes. Always look brown, like he needs some visine or something. No, he's, he, he, no, he, he, you he, know, you know what that Johnny. is. Though. That means that your kidneys is messed up. Like, yeah, that's Johnny. Kidney issues. He like, been drinking, was... smoking all the time. He, yeah, he, he had a cigar. His eyes are like the, yellow. In, like ooh. he has. Nah, a he cigar really need to chill out on the baggy pants that he be wearing. <laughs> he just won't let them go. <laughs> He, he not gonna retire that. That's his, you know that little his signature. You know that little tablet segment when he's like, "Hey, we got to show you this, Mike." On, yeah, on the documentary, yeah, yeah. someone he's made a, a little meme where he's searching up these oversized G. <laughs> 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 he's looking for the oversized G. The I was like, like forms and them Pele Pele's. <laughs> Jordan, you can go nobody, nobody is saying. the Pele Pele's, the Rockwell. No, nobody oh, said no. what what is it? Machiavelli's? <laughs> <laughs> the ones you used to get at Super Mart? <laughs> oh, Perry Ellis. This nigga Jordan had uh, the arguably the dopest oh. pair of shoes to ever grace this earth. And this nigga out here rocking pants the size of fucking two people. Why boo boos? He stuck. He stuck. In, he stuck in the early two thousands. Bro, the nigga <laughs> should be huge, bro. I'm like, why this nigga bad so huge? I'm like, why, bro? Like, just sum I'm, him up. You ain't gotta be tight. I'm not about to let no dude drop sixty on me. That's wearing <laughs> pants. <pen. laughs> <laughs> wearing wearing them parachute elevens. That's that's why niggas <laughs> couldn't talk about him because he's like, yeah, you talk about my pants. I'm about the dog your ass on this court though, bro. And that's the thing he would take. That's that only crazy. basketball. <laughs> you gotta live out here. <laughs> you don't live hey, on the court. <laughs> hey, you be like, hey, you may have dropped sixty on me, but you still looking weak in those pants. Got a size sixty waist pants, sixty thirty two. <laughs> you know when you, you know you know when the pants be too big and you put the belt on and and the be all- scratch up like a bald up piece of paper. <laughs> Jordan over there looking like a farmer. 
It's not me, Jordan. In case Jordan want to sponsor this podcast. Oh, make Jordan had a farm. Watch a Jordan ad play. <laughs> 23. 23 is back. They be, they be oh, listening to us, bro. They, they really be listening to us, bro. Like We're going to get an email. We would have sponsored you guys. Right. You guys... I'm going to delete this shit real quick. <laughs> real what are you talking and, about? What are you talking about? Get all of this out. Ain't no podcast mm-hmm. talk about Jordan. Now, you Actually, know somebody was screen recorded this part. They're going to screen record this part and be like, oh, my favorite part. And there you go. It's always a hater out there. Somewhere. <laughs> I want some OVO 12s or, you know, something like that. You know, that's, that's, that's about it. We got to get, we, we, gonna, we need to we get, get the, connect. the next topic. Hmm? Who? Who? Which is the versus battles. Oh, yeah. Did y'all see the Nelly in the, uh, are you, you going to get on that one? That's yeah. That's hope. Yeah. Oof. You said it was ghetto? Ghetto as hell. Was... I enjoyed it. Uh, it, it no, I mean, me I do. I, do. I, I have my do in my bag. <laughs> yeah, yes. <laughs> had my Band-Aid. <laughs> <laughs> I had my 3X throwback jersey. <laughs> Trying to braid my hair. Uh, 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 uh. Nah, it, it took me back. I mean, that's that shit was for us. Because oh, that was, that was the shit good. we was listening to. Heavy, bro. Who y'all Ooh. think won, though? Ah, too, too, too long. Too nah, I, Luda won, I but it's say, like what? Nelly won. Boy, you crazy? What? It's, it's, you it's, who it's said one. Nelly won? <laughs> I said Nelly won. <laughs> Malisha said that. Oh, um, you said yeah. Nelly won? Yeah. Okay, look, 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 look. Nelly had bigger hits. Jesus. No. Let's, let's let's just let's be real. Shut up, Ross. I kick you. I hit, I hit my knee. <laughs> Did he say oh, my knee? Oh, my knee. Knee. I like knee Nelly, knee. Nelly had Sorry, bigger like hits. AARP. That's the thing I don't think people recognize. Like during that versus, yeah, Luda had more, more, more hits, Culture like more hit. tracks. Culture hit. Nelly went diamond in a time period where niggas had to go get the CD, and it's it was a different ball game. So he had them big ass hits. It wasn't as many as Luda, and Luda was killing the remix. I mean the uh, the features. So. When it, when it went into it that bag, I was like, Nelly, don't fall for the feature trap because this nigga <laughs> Luda got features for your ass. This is the reason why I say Nelly won. The reason why I say Nelly won is because he His did internet? crossovers. He reached a broader, way broader audience than Luda did. He did country. He did rock. He did, well, you know, the regular nigga music. So, I mean. Wow. That's what we call it. What is regular nigga music? I don't know. Huh? Did, 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 did you not? I was, I'm, I was I'm a, sure you did the chicken. I was a young black. Lines. I was a young black yeah. kid. Anyway, you did the chicken dog. head. You did the chicken yes. head. Yes. You know who really made the chicken head popular? Chicken and beer. Who? <laughs> who made the chicken head popular? Or what you the chicken head historian? The chicken, the chicken head historian. Chiggy made it popular, and you know who Chiggy was signed to? Disturbing DDP. 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 But, but, but guess who was guess who they was doing it to the music too? Nelly's music. Did you ever seen anybody chicken head the Luda? No. That was chicken right there. <laughs> <laughs> you could. You could right there. Actually, that's what that yeah. Hey. I like the way you do it right there. I know <laughs> Tim Drill was a big well, part of you. my life, girl. <laughs> Tim Drill. Ooh. An eagle. Introduced us to a lot of new things. BT after Dark Boy. It's like, what is Like, look, you like, what is, like, what is this? It came oh. on that too. Oh. What are you doing with that? And then you had that record. Yeah, previous. bro. With previous, oh, yep. Mm-hmm. Jesus. You had to, you had to do, <laughs> you had to do previous and then up one. So that way they couldn't come in and try to check you, check your history. <laughs> Oh my you god. My parents didn't I, really check with me like that. They I, was like, what you watching? Adult Swim. That even sounded X rated. What do you mean? What, what yeah, adult swimming mom, in here? Yeah, my mom wouldn't let me, she wouldn't let me watch that. They got adult swimming adult on swim? this shit. Man, my parents didn't really swim? care. It looked my mom, you look like my mom, mom, you know Malisha, you know Malisha TV. Anime. <laughs> like, I she said it was the devil. Like it was so me you and my friends real? had to sneak and watch it at school. No lie. Remember so when Pokemon like, was the devil? Look how Pokemon both of them the came in here. <laughs> they both zoomed in on you said. What? 
No, for real, for real. Wow. So me and my brothers had to watch it. We had to watch it either at school when we had wow. we had Pokemon like was the the devil, battles though. and stuff and in the in the train in the cars and stuff. We would have to do it at school. We had Brock couldn't see. Misty had them short like, ass shorts. Yeah, Ash was carrying Brock around was, fucking. <laughs> Brock was a perv on the cool. One hundred percent. They just want to show you what he was looking at. Everything, Nurse Jenny, all of that. <laughs> all the Nurse Jennies. That nigga was a perv, and, and Ash sucked. Oh, Ash just pissed me <laughs> off, bro. What, what made me mad is because they always had a positive, like ending. You know, mm-hmm. nothing was ever like <laughs> negative. That made you mad. Realistic. <laughs> it's not realistic. Well, <laughs> anime is not supposed to be realistic. You know what they said? They said you niggas got it hard out here. We don't want. We don't want to put it on TV too. <laughs> that. Like Dragon Ball Z, Goku always won. <laughs> I love that, nah. bro. That made nah, me so he, upset. He like, I, I, oh, I to win. I'm, and it took twenty minutes for you to power up. It took a whole episode of freaking yelling. <laughs> we was into that shit too. We, he mad. Get him, Goku. Get him. Ah! Ten minutes Tune later. In ah! Next time, <laughs> will Goku finish powering? No, 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 it'll go off on him powering up and then come back on him powering up. Like, <laughs> I'm like, damn, last this nigga was powering up a whole week. Last time on Dragon, and nobody <laughs> tried to punch him. Nobody tried to kick him, throw a rock. I'm sitting there like, huh? Yeah, why well, he got the eyes oh, on? Oh, oh, no, he gotta get a new power. No. <laughs> I can feel it. <laughs> but yeah, they sit it kind of made me feel weird, weird too because like they be moaning oh 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 and they do the little the little lip tremble but yeah. it's been powering up for 20 minutes nah yeah yeah, yeah. like <laughs> this would be incredible i'm talking hey, about his powers level is over nine thousand. Uh, 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 i feel it over here is that your mama no nah, that's my wife <laughs> oh Hey. <laughs> he said, hey. Who is that? I hear female. <laughs> <laughs> Who you all Uber with? It? <laughs> What's going on in here? I hear, I hear a female. <laughs> bro, Dang, you bro. do look like Mike Epps. I don't know why. <laughs> <laughs> when you did that, that just confirmed it. When he did oh, that. What's man. going on in here? <laughs> yeah, Mike, Mike Epps is stupid, bro. Like that that's my favorite ever, comedian. Man. He's forever a goat, bro. Like he is like you can watch really him just do man. regular shit and die laughing, bro. Oh uh, yeah, that's so. Who's your top three comedians? What they need to do. That's what they need to do—a versus battle with comedians. That's that. Mm. I think they're trying to do something like that. I seen Kevin Hart and uh, what was it, Atheon Crockett? They was like ranking on each other. Oh, okay. But I don't know if that's, I mean, I don't know how that will work. I don't um, know, but I just feel like it'll be good for the world to see. I don't think they would want to do that, though, because I think more of the underrated comedians are funnier than some of, like, the top. Mm -hmm. (laughs) Low-key. I'm I'm going to be real with you. Like, Kevin Hart used to be so hard. Yeah, his old shit. Now, it's like, he he doesn't have any, any... he, his kids are grown. Like, they don't do weird stuff anymore. And most of yeah. his material was about his kids and his family and how dysfunctional his family was. And you know? I feel like he can't be edgy anymore. Huh? He can't be edgy no, because of, like, it's all like, the sponsors it's like he got. everything he says is calculated now. And it's like, dang, you really did that too. You thought too hard on that. Like, I could, I could see you thinking. <laughs> but that just goes back to, like... You processing it. What's... I know he was like, how do I make this, you know? Well, who? I feel like this platform, like the verses, will give you more of that unedited, unfiltered type stuff. Because most likely, not even trying to be funny, black people are really into this versus stuff compared to the rest. <laughs> but, I like how you tried to be politically correct with that. No, that's true. Niggas love verses. Niggas, nah, love. niggas love verses, bro. <laughs> you're not seeing you're not seeing Sarah in this. No, nah, like, oh, hell no. Nah. Adele she versus did. Taylor Swift. Not at all. <laughs> hey, I, I, that would, I would Bull that, versus J Balvin. No, yeah, that, that would be stupid. 
That, that now, I would like to hard, see though. that. Don't get me wrong. <laughs> That'd be cool. They, they even got Justin Timberlake in it going against niggas. <laughs> Talking about some shit. Yeah. Justin Timberlake, I'm sorry, but Justin, 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 will, Justin will kill. He would. Nah, he needs to go against Usher. Oh, no. He can't, nah, he can't oh, do no. that. No, nah, we can't do that. <laughs> no, no, no. Why? no. Why? Maybe, maybe like Bobby V or somebody. Wow. wow. He gonna stump all over Bobby V. Wow. Bobby V. Go there. No, that's why Go she there. put a she put a Lucy out there. Yeah, that's old. <laughs> Lucy, you see it? Lucy. That's cold. Bobby V, no. I mean, he got some hits, but it ain't JT damn near first album kills majority of that nigga's career. You know what? Career. So. I think Rich Boy needs to go against Hurricane Chris. No. Ooh, that's hard right there. Yeah. Mm. I think Boosie need to go against Hurricane Chris and Rich Boy need to go against That's uh, not even uh, fair. <laughs> yeah, Boosie on I'm, that. I'm gonna really mess up the game with this one. Powerline from Goofy Movie versus <laughs> Chip Skylark from Fairly <laughs> Eye Power. Nice <laughs> Powerline. You know Powerline is Seven Campbell, so I'm gonna say Powerline gonna win. Powerline. <laughs> Why you brought me all the way but back? But you can't go you with my shiny teeth and me. You can't forget that. Chip Skylark? Chip. Yes, boy. Chip Skylark. Was that his name? Chip? Yes. Yeah. That Chip nigga name was Skip. Uh, Chip. Rose. Why you? <laughs> nah, he took, he took me back on that one. He took me back, bro. I can't believe he remembered Chip. that. I still watch cartoons to this day. I'm a big Mickey, Mickey. Me too. Oh, like I read comic God. books. I watch anime. I do all that dorky stuff. No, I, don't, I, mean, I don't. I don't have as much. I, I kind of like lost my way on anime. Like once college hit, because it was just like so much, and then I got lost my way. He in the shower. Life. Oh um, no! Get out the shower. Because I was trying to. Please. I was trying to keep up with Naruto, oh, but I was watching the Shippuden verse uh, versions of Naruto. But that's oh, before Shippuden. it came out. That's before it came out in uh on TV. Said the ship it in, the ship it in. So I was reading the manga. You tried it. I forgot you was Japanese. The Shipley's version. I forgot you was ja- that's a good version, nigga. You you watch a Christian Cree. <laughs> what? Diabetes. <laughs> so you watch a Christian Yo, Cree. Yo, look, so I was telling, I was telling my homeboy that me and my brothers, we're gonna do a challenge, right? <clears throat> so the challenge is because you know, like um Naruto has like Naruto. Like 200 intros, like yeah, plenty of them, right? So we were talking about we were talking about doing like a challenge, like who knows the most um, intros, and we all put like a hundred dollars into a pot. It's four of us, and whoever wins gets the four hundred dollars. But of course, I'm not gonna, because who has time to study that? Like, yeah. Of, of different the animes? The tuning exams, the guinea. Yeah. You got to go mm-hmm. to the Ninja War. First of all, I'm not doing I'm not doing that. Like, I'm like, <laughs> no. <laughs> so, it's all, for, it's all for fun and games. Sasuke. <laughs> <laughs> but I would, I would I literally nervous. say some of the new animes <laughs> now are really putting more emphasis on, like, fables as well as, like, tales to know like you know basically like good Samaritan ship values and stuff like that compared right. to like Dragon Ball Z it was just fighting I, <laughs> but you know I'm not opposed to that though <laughs> like, that's what, that's what we was on back then I don't want to have ends. to I feel like I feel like the, the best anime is the ones that they don't like think too hard on like I like, I like the, the crime I like the psychological ones too so I don't know See, when the homie put me on anime, I thought, I was like, mm, I don't know. But, uh, nah, yeah. I, was like, I already know. What are we doing here? <laughs> but nah, like, but they got some really, really dope ass storylines. Like, so I was just like, man, like, this is some real realistic shit. And not only did you pick on him, but now he didn't got strong enough to whoop you and your whole family. Like, yeah. it's on some. Bro, you know when they strong, when they don't even look up. <clears throat> They talking regular. Yeah, they are talking regular. They be they be real calm. <laughs> I've been waiting my entire life. For this. I've been trained their mother thing or joke millions. This is my favorite when they do this. They'll have they have a hold down and they'll be like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> they start laughing. <laughs> that little that little smirk kills. Wait, wait, how about we see? <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, you can't see their forehead and they. Mm-hmm. And then they hit what you with so, the... What's also so what dope? Stupid. The culture is starting to get into anime. Like, as African Americans, we're starting to get into anime. The thing movies. is, we've been there. We were just too embarrassed to talk about it. That's the thing. you talking about like creating it. Kicked on for being a, a nerd or a dork or whatever. So I know, I know people in high school that I went and that was watching anime long before. You know, you and you, you twenty five, and you just started watching it. Mm-hmm. No, it's a YouTuber by the name of Mark Phillips, RDC Mark World One. Mm-hmm. If you haven't seen them, check them out. Like, oh, we watch them all the time. Yes, Supreme Dream. boys from Texas too. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they, they in uh fucking. Uh, they in Austin. They are Austin right now. Austin, because oh, they, they, they was like further up north. They were um, in Dallas at first because they went to UNT, but they mm-hmm. moved to Austin, like Austin Round Rock area. Mm. They got a nice ass house too. Funny, bro. Yes, they they are are watch. and they he brings it like from a a homie, like a nigga perspective. Mm-hmm. Yes, you know what I'm saying. So that that gets people into it too. But now I, that's that's the thing I was saying about judging people, bro. Because at first you used to think like, man, y'all some nerds for this shit. But it's like, nigga, that's really some live. <laughs> it's really some live ass shit. The storyline. Yeah, they kick yeah. your ass yeah. too. Hell, yeah. Boondocks is anime. If you want to be technical. Yeah. Yeah. It is. Yeah. Afro just, Samurai. Mm, you know, yeah, like yeah. we have a lot of African American type styles. Honestly, if you want to think about it, Piccolo is a nigga. <laughs> Everybody <laughs> says that. He oh. is. <laughs> he did not go to the same values as Goku. He did not right, with that like shit, he followed his own <laughs> path and people followed him. That's a nigga. That's a nigga for you. That nigga was taking care of his Goku son better than Goku. <laughs> that father of the year. He was. So, is, is that a nigga? <laughs> no, but he's Mr. Popo nah, is just blackface. Mr. Oh, yeah. Popo. Yep. Blackface is racism. But nah. Um, it, 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 that, blackface that, is racism. <laughs> And you don't realize that shit. Like, you know, it's like stuff we was watching as kids that we just didn't realize. Like, that's probably fucked up. <laughs> and until you go back and rewatch some shit, and you're like, oh, okay, I see y'all. Like, dang. Throwing these subliminals yeah, in recess there. Recess was kind of racist. Vince LaSalle. <laughs> Good at every sport. Every every black kid. Like, hey, Arnold. Uh, <laughs> everybody. Nigga, always with the flat tops. Let's do the fucking flat tops. <laughs> I don't understand. Hey, and, Arnold. Yeah. But they messed the white people up with that football head shit, though. I don't know. <laughs> we all got a fucking jersey on. <laughs> Always, Dang, bro, with some true. jeans. With some blue tailors. <laughs> that nigga did have some Chuck Taylors even, on. He did always used to play basketball. Oh, bro, spinning the ball and shit and walking around. Check this out. Remember Doug wanted a pair of fake Air Jordans? Hmm? <laughs> You got yeah, it. Now. Get up. She said, no, I wanted a pair. Of, like, it was like air something. <laughs> <laughs> they would have. I don't remember that episode. Look it, it up. It, I'm, I'm going to look it up. That's just hilarious. He said, air <laughs> something. Air something. <laughs> it was air something. Air whatever Peter, these hoes is. Peter was with them. Of course, he was colored. Of course. They couldn't put black on Why them. Why did he say That's colored? Cool. The closest, the closest, it started with a B. <laughs> Wait, what else you gonna call him? He was a green man. <laughs> he was a green man. Green is money. Nah, we can't do that. You can't, you can't give nope. him money. But nah, that, that, <laughs> that's crazy. Bro, I, I had to, I have to share this before we get out. My homie, and he probably gonna kill me when I say this, but he used to be turned on by Lynette the Clown. And uh, <laughs> he, he told me, he was like, bro, Hey, we was all sitting in the circle. He was like, hey, man, <clears throat> y'all ever thought about Lynette the Clown? Like, when she do that clock, when she oh. starts to do the time. And I didn't think about it. And she used to do her leg going up. <laughs> he said, I don't know why, but I was turned on by that. So it's funny because there was a meme on Twitter. I already it. seen it, and it's trifling. Yeah. <laughs> and it, it so got trifling. <laughs> they made her, like... Why do they make her look like Megan Thee Stallion? Be like real thick, oh, like 
dog. With a bra on and she And Molly throwing money. The, not Molly, but the little thing yeah. throwing Molly at her. The little doll was throwing my, uh, money at her while she was on the like on top of the clock. And Who I sent that to him. Look at Ross. Ross. Ross about to go in the Yeah, he got his phone right in his hand. He told me, oh, oops. <laughs> wow. Who is this alleged friend? Yo, yeah. morning childhoods out here, boy. I'll tell, you, I'll tell you, it's the homie, but okay, it's okay. funny. I mean, when you can't, <laughs> when you can share shit like that with the homie, that's the best thing, bro. This nigga shit, homie. Telling me nobody ain't have a crush on Patty Mayonnaise. Mm-hmm. Nah, that was just you, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Nah, yeah, I ain't mean, no. We got real quiet. Hold up, hold up, hold up. We did a uh, we did a smash a pass cartoon edition like a long time ago, way in the Dang. beginning. Bring that back. I w- I want to do that again, bro. You remember Bring that? Bring that back. Ross I don't, I don't Ross passed uh also oh uh, not Thelma yeah Thelma wasn't it? I think so. From Scooby Doo. Scooby Doo. Yeah. Yeah, I passed on that man. I was, I was like, bro, why would you pass Thelma? You had some reason. I need to just re-upload that video. She bro. was drawn real poorly. I'll put it like <laughs> <laughs> movie, movie Thelma. Movie like, Thelma, yeah, but like TV no. Thelma? No. Yeah. I feel like 9798, they start drawing people with an hourglass figure. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. Dexter's mama? Dexter, man, she was oh. thick. Oh, I said, what kind she of? She was eating them yams. And she's walking on the tippy toes. Pop girls with the woman with no face. Oh, oh I'll... yeah, she had them. She, Tata. Yeah. Even on the Incredibles, the mom on the Incredibles. I said, what in the world? Oh, she yeah, got she them birth giving hips. She got a second. And she can stretch. It's, there's a there's a scene where she's stuck <laughs> in between two sliding doors, and only her butt is on one side of the door. It's on the first Incredibles. Subliminals. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, what are they doing? The, the cartoons be giving you subliminals. Like, why is everybody thick? Why can't nobody be like the Tom and Jerry made and shit? Why can't nobody have them legs and just that was be... racist. That was. That was. Hella racist. She was a maid and she sound like a slave. Yeah. That shit was hella racist. Didn't they like yeah. do like some blackface shit on uh Tom and Jerry? Like I think they had like the little oil and it, it was an episode. Well, it did come people? out in the fifties, so mm-hmm. I wouldn't doubt it. Well, that wow. dude passed away recently, so rest in peace, man. Um, That's crazy. Good for him. Yeah. I feel like we had some Wait. dope cartoons growing up. Ross, don't even just let it let it go. Yeah, let's keep going. Let's keep rolling. Let's roll. Roll, <laughs> roll and tape. <laughs> roll, roll with the tide, like Devin was here. <laughs> Why you do it like that, bro? He, So where are we? <laughs> we at the end of this show. That's yeah, we well, we got four minutes left. Yeah, we got four minutes left, so. I'm <laughs> both strong. Come on, y'all, let's freestyle. <laughs> freestyle. Go oh, ahead, man. start off. You kick it off. Go ahead. What you want to talk about? Mm. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, you wasn't talking about rapping, were you? I thought you was talking about, like, topics. Oh, no. Ra- yeah, rapping. <laughs> you don't know. You went to Sterling. I forgot. <laughs> you did, too. <laughs> Again. You can only rhyme with words that end in O. Oh. Hey, my dad went to Sterling. <laughs> he wanted me to go to Sterling, but I went to really read. <laughs> Two L's. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he wanted you to go to Sterling. Like Sterling was dope. Yes. Sterling was dope back in the day. Sterling was, was like seventies, you know. What yeah, I'm yeah, when Clyde Drexler was there, was like oh. <laughs> Yolanda Adams. Nah, um. I I went to get a, a suit. She don't even claim Sterling. She don't. She even said she claims since she's been famous. It's like oh. Beyonce not claiming Ailey. She definitely from my cousin went to school with her. Crazy. I remember all of them. I'm my third boy. Man. <laughs> Girl, that's kind of you. You kind of the wrong way. <laughs> you that away. You ain't. But um, how often were you really a third boy? <laughs> we was going to Frenchies. <laughs> <laughs> no, navies. 
<laughs> hey, um, so, but yeah, the dude that went tailor my suit, he was like, man, I went to uh, Sterling. Like, we was talking, he was saying his class reunion was coming up, and then he went to Sterling. Oh, old, old fella. I think he was a 40-year or something like that. Or something like that. Something big. I'm like, damn. He, I'm like, man, we can look at 40, because... Yeah, but I'm just like, bro, that's a... <laughs> Blessing, boy. Felicia Child is, bro. <laughs> Ain't nobody doing no reunions. No, it's quarantine. True. They do a Zoom reunion. <laughs> <laughs> Look at you. 73. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, I want to see. I want to see everybody roof. Come on, bro. We got a minute left, man. Dude, just think about. Think roof. about this. If you do a Zoom reunions like fifty plus, ain't nobody gonna know how to work these things. Mm. Ah, right, let me see if I can get. The- <laughs> <laughs> what a, what a push, huh? Teresa, can you hear me? Hey, girl, Teresa. <laughs> They say I'm my audio on. On, the, uh, on the Facebook. <laughs> on the book. The Facebook. <laughs> my, like my mama say, Insta chat. <laughs> and, I, and, I, and I talk to her through the Bluetooth. <laughs> but it ain't blue. It's weird. <laughs> I hate those old people. Well, we're we not going to be like that because we already know what it is. But if they come out with uh, some we, stuff, we gonna be We're going to be on some shit, too. We're going to be on some shit. It's okay, wait, wait, wait. This is gonna be a different type of shit we gonna be on. So, uh, but we still gonna be ranking. That's funny. I'm, I'm still be roasting. Well, oh, you yeah, old. Look at this game. Killing these young kids. Get your little little. I can't walk. Oh, she the broke her hip. She the broke her hip. But now, nah, man, we appreciate y'all boys for tuning in on this podcast. This was episode 22. Uh, shout out to my homie so Noah nice. for joining. Um, appreciate y'all for having me. Yeah, for sure, man. The asshole being number one over there. But um <laughs> shout out to Malisha being like back. The, the medicine, the medicine that they provide y'all on the on, the, on TV and they because this whole say less than a minute. I'm, I'm, trying, to, I'm trying to hurry up and get it in. Yeah, so uh, good to be back. Hopefully oh, I might you, come back. You left, Ross? <laughs> if y'all um, have I'm bad about to die too. So Blondie came in the room. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I gotta go, gotta go. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right.